Hey there my friends, this is Baja Window to the South. My name is Jesus Castellanos and today we are with David of La Termo. Yeah, I love the name. I love yeah. the name. Yeah. Pretty common. Yeah, it's great that you very local here, Rosarito. Very local. Well, it is you, local. You, you and we talk Rosarito, about it. We know who where's La Termo. So. Oh yeah, amazing. So. Man, where did La Termo start it? Yeah, well actually La Termo started uh, in my house yeah. in the pandemia. So when there's no beer, so there was no beer, so no someone beer, had to brew I, something. Actually, I was trying to learn how to do it. So okay. I started studying and searching how to make beer. Yeah. So there's no beer, so I started making beer, and I decided to make beer here in my house. Okay. And how's the how is the how's the price is born in my house making so you the pandemic. Yeah, you learned, you started on pandemic, during the pandemic, but then you turned this into La Termo. Yeah, well, actually, I started making beer, then, then I decided to start a brand. Well, sounds good to start a brand. So I, I need to have a logo, I need to have something that... Uh, That's right. So, I'm from him, from Rosarito, so I, I was thinking about born the name. Raised. I mean, I born and raised here yeah, in Rosarito, so... So I I, I, uh, I grew up close to La Termo. I used to surf there. Oh, amazing, yeah. So when I was surfing, my view, actually there was La Termo, the Cerro de la Mesa, Coronel. So I think that that was, I was trying to find. A, you were a, doing a magical sport with magical view. Yeah. With a magical thoughts as having a beer. Yeah. Amazing, you mix it all together. Yeah, so that's why I decided that I was just trying to find a brand to represent Rosarito. So I bet, I bet, I bet you do. La Termo. You, do, you, do, you did it well. You did it well. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Man, how many years do you have brewing uh, in a bigger scale? I think like like a year. Like a like year, a year. Ago, I started making like about 100 liters. I start making 20 and I'm I right now I'm making about like 100. Okay. And trying to find you to grow up. Let's let's see how, how the business goes. Uh, let's see how what happens. You're one of the local brewers in Rosarito. Yeah, They're I, not I'm, too much and you're one of them. Yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. How many styles do you have on your top? Right now I'm making so uh, like I'm making in like Five styles. I'm let the. I start with making the blonde ale. Okay. Then I, I, I start making the stout. Okay. One of my favorites. Uh, I make a, a, another IPA, Cassie IPA, mm -hmm. stout. Sometimes I make a, an orange ale or okay. a wheat ale or wheat mango. But right now I'm making. Uh, I'm working like four. Uh, Four styles with the blonde, stout, IPA, hazy. That, that's actually. Now, you're in a city that receives many people from different places of the world. And you're offering your beer and you're brand new to yeah. the, uh, to the, uh, on the craft beer industry. Yeah. How that experience, how, how is that experience for you? Well, I'm actually, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning about the about the people when they they try my beer, about what they say about my beer. Sometimes I have to to work and make better recipes. Yeah, yeah. But very a lot of people there like my beer. I like my they they like the logo about the about the, the, history the, history, yeah. the history behind it is amazing. The history behind it is amazing. And um, well, right now I'm I'm selling my beer like five places here in Sarito. By different places, yeah. yeah. Different places. One here is in Kimoto Tuntayuno. Okay, good. And I have a Sashimi Republica. You can you can find it also. You can uh, in Ricky's place. Rick, uh, Ricky, Ricky, uh, Charlie's Pizza. Uh, El Encino. Uh, where else? Charlie's El Encino, right here, back here. You're basically starting from an uh, American model of brewing beer. First you brew, then you 
give away your beers and then you put it in a can and you try to sell it in retail. And I think you're doing great. Oh, yeah. I think thank you're you. doing good. I think no, you're doing you. good. Yeah. And it's good to be learning all um, the time. Yeah. What we are drinking right here, right now. Right now we have, we have this, actually you're drinking a blonde ale. Okay. It's very refreshing beer, very drinkable beer. If you don't like beer, actually, you can start with this one because it's very refreshing. Uh, it's very, a little bit hoppy beer. But and not bitter. No. Very, it's very easy to, to drink, actually. It's a drinkable beer. Very drinkable, but it's fresh and very smooth. What if I'm someone that I learn a little bit more about craft beer, I have a taste of you more, which one will you recommend me from your beers? Well, I have another of my favorites. You can you can actually try the stout beer. This I want a chocolate, chocolate flavor, flavor. Huh? And actually, if you want, if you want something like fruity and hoppy, you actually you can try the the Hazy IPA. Yeah, my Hazy IPA. Hazy IPA. Amazing. Yeah, that's good, man. Give us your social media where we can find La Termo. Yeah, you can find it in Facebook. Yeah. You can find it in Facebook and, and Instagram. You can find it there. You can you can you can find it up, in find out, find out La out Termo. There. Yeah. Okay. There. Just La Termo and that's it. La oh. Termo uh, Cervecería. Okay, La Termo Cervecería. Yeah. Amazing, guys. La Termo, local brewery here in Rosarito. Amazing. Keep pushing. Keep helping. Keep buying. Keep drinking. This is Baja Window to the South. My name is Jesus Castellanos. 